Hi there. I'm Dale Robertson. Some of you may remember from the tales of Wells Fargo. Right now, I'd like to tell you a little about the picture you're going to see. Shortly after the Civil War, one of the major projects in this country was to join the east to the west with a great railroad, the greatest the world had ever known. But there were many problems. The weather, the terrain, the Indians. But one of the biggest problems was a group of men who were known as land grabbers, men who would jump out ahead of the railroad and buy up all of the land and attempt to charge the government fantastic prices for it. Such a man was Montgomery Blaine. In an effort to put a stop to this, the government sent out Senate investigators. Such a man was Senator Freeman. And many times, these Senate investigators didn't return. So in order to protect them, the government put together a special team of men whose job was so secretive that even their own families didn't know what they did. And such a man was Justin Eagle, who was known as the man from Button Willow. And this is his story. In the great wild west where the eagles nest And the white clouds churn and billow he makes a stand to protect this land. He's the man from Button Willow. Located in the foothills of the High Sierras, the town of Button Willow is typical of many early American settlements. We have a school, a general store, a jail. Morning, Justin. Good to see you back again. And a saloon that closes every Sunday while the owner, M.G. Howard, attends church with the rest of Buttonwillow's citizenry. <laughs> oh, welcome Justin. home, Justin. Welcome home, Justin. Ladies. Howdy, Justin. I was San Francisco.